Sandland, the land of Sand. Hello and welcome back, Chris. Yet another again, yet another review from me, and um, this time looking at the window. And outside, I see still light buzzing, right? But it's going to be night time soon. Night is going to hit the town, and if you're going to hit the town, you're going to look for a fragrance that you know is great for a night out. And there it comes. Azaro pour Homme Night Time, released in 2011 with the noses of Monsieur Reynaud and Monsieur Girard, who have been working at or on uh, David of Leatherbland or Monsieur Girard at um, the, uh, Pursuit from Downhill. And um, in 2011, they've been doing this stuff, a uh, flanker to the 1978 original of Azaro. And um, it carries a bit of that vibe, yet only vaguely because the main players here are bitter orange and rhubarb at the beginning. Ha! And that creates, a, to me, a sour blood-like scenario, a vibe that, let's say, Count Dracula is sitting at the bar, right? Sipping his martini on the rocks and already preying on his next victim. You know, in a dark, dressed and elegant, mysterious, that's what you get. And yet, a bit scary, right? Rough around the edges, just like this one. It's a bit rough. It's, but it's an attention grabber, right? It is definitely something that um, goes not with the usual flow, it goes against the flow. This blood-like vibe is so nice um, and so well done that if you like it, if you like this sour blood-like you know, smell, I don't think that blood actually smells anyhow, but if you like it, try it, I would definitely say. If you like it, then it's a great alternative to all the smooth and compliment getter nighttime fragrances that usually people wear for, for a night out. Um, projection and silage are fantastic. Uh, longevity even better, lasts you throughout the night. Um, I would definitely recommend this for 25 and above, above guys. Um, dark suit, dark dresses, or even a dark shirt or whatever, you know, just make sure that it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a pink or a blue or a white sort of scenario with this fragrance. Definitely something dark and, and maybe elegant, but at least mysterious. Uh, when you hit the town and you have some you know, pints in the pub or go out to a nice dinner with friends or even romantic, it's not that romantic type of science, uh, scent, but yet it's mysterious enough to be romantic at the same time. And then you maybe hit the bar in late nights and you know, you're just around. And um, this is definitely something that not everyone is gonna wear and due to this, this sour, bloody, woody uh, feeling to it, it's very dark, it's mysterious, and, uh, and it's really, uh, if not a compliment getter, an attention getter, it definitely is. And you're gonna stick out from the crowd as well. And you're gonna not be let down by the performance either. But if you, if you wanna reapply anyway, it's, it's 30 mil, this one, for example, and you just put it in your back pocket and there you go. I think that the fact that Rhino and Girard were working on this is actually a, um, a sign or a, a good uh, signal that this is a quality fragrance, even if it's a bit rough around the edges, right? It's not that extremely well blended, but it doesn't have to be because the bitter orange and the rhubarb together with the nutmeg in it and then the vetiver and seed are coming in later at the dry down. So the, the, the bitter orange and the rhubarb are so surprising and then the nutmeg makes it a bit even a bit more gives it more kick that is just yeah it's, it's just great in itself I totally love it um, and use it from time to time uh, I've seen some bad comments on it um, because it's really not that usual type it goes against the flow but I think there's lots of people who go against the flow and they should try this one um, because it's, the pricing is good on this and um, and you're going to be different than the other people on the dance floor or at the bar or whatever. It's, 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 it's going to make you stand out. You're going to maybe be the, the, uh, the vampire of the night, right? And maybe that's what you want to be. Um, and uh, so I would recommend this definitely to uh, try it out for nighttime. Daytime wear, I'm not sure. Um, it has this fruity freshness to it, which is good, but uh, it has a darkness that you know, evokes more a nighttime scenario. So that's it, really, about this fragrance. Quick and efficient, great bloody vibe, uh, Campari sipping Dracula, um, Azzaro Nighttime program from 2011. Thanks very much for your attention, um, and I'll be back. Cheers.